What's up everybody and welcome back to another Payday 2 mod showcase. This week we're going to be checking out Poco HUD, which in my opinion is the best HUD mod released so far for Payday 2. Now if you don't know what a HUD is or HUD or heads up display, basically all it is is the information on your screen that's not part of the actual like gameplay environment. So for example, your health bar or waypoints and all that jazz. So, to give a better example, here is Payday 2 with no HUD. Oh, it's on now. Here's Payday 2 with the vanilla HUD. Let's break bad. And here is Payday 2 Time with Poco HUD. HUD. So that should do a good job explaining just what the HUD is. Poco HUD does a really good job making the game look clean and nice. There's a good amount of features with this mod, and honestly, I do definitely prefer it to Hawk's HUD, which in my opinion is kind of messy and kind of rough. Let's start off with the basic controls of this mod. First off, when you press B, you're going to bring up the voice command oh, option, which will let you choose you some lines bag? that your character can say. The lines yeah, range from stuff that will probably help your teammates get an idea without you talking shit. or typing anything in chat, to stuff like, oh shit or oh fuck. I guess, which can be just fun to spam, although there is a slight cooldown on the voice option, but it's not really too bad. Pushing the backspace button will bring you into the options menu. The first time you install this mod, I would seriously recommend going into the chat options sub-menu and disabling most to all of the chat notifications. Now as you can see, I turn off every single one except for three down warning and the drill is done. If you leave all of these on, there is a good chance that you're going to be kicked from a lot of games because some hosts do not like their chat being spammed with somewhat useless messages and I honestly don't blame them, so I would strongly recommend turning most of these off. Next up, I would go into the corner text options and disable most of these as well. They can be quite annoying to see at the bottom of your screen and really don't add anything but clutter. If you're on a lower spec machine, it could be useful to have the FPS counter, however, so that may be worth leaving on. You can click apply and reload to save your settings. The buff tab applies to the circle to the left of your screen that will pop up when sprinting, interacting with things, or with specific skills such as Inspire, Berserker, etc. Now you can control a number of things or you can completely disable it. I would set the FPS to 60 if your machine can handle it. You can make the buff bar bigger as well as set it anywhere on your screen with the coordinates. There's a bunch of other options here that you can mess around with to get it to your liking. You can also choose between three different styles. You can choose one in the spirit of the original game, the Poco HUD default, and a glowing option. As you can see, the white interaction bar from the original game still is there. However, I do like to disable it as this frees up your screen and removes a lot of clutter. You can do that by simply hitting the disable button. The floating labels tab allows you to adjust options around the floating labels. These appear under drills, computer hacking, and other time-based events that you have to wait for patiently. While this won't fix that pesky drill any faster, these will certainly make it easier to keep track of objects without having to be 5 feet close to them. As long as you're looking at the object, you can see its time remaining through walls and other objects. This is a lot more efficient than Hawks HUD's model which just places it on your screen. This tab of course includes options to disable this completely, or change a number of different options with this. In addition to all this, floating labels will also appear above ammo and med packs, letting you know the number of charges remaining when you look at them. They will also apply to some other things such as dominated guards, so overall a very useful system. The game mechanic sub option lets you change a number of different things. The first one is to resize and color code crime net as well as organize it. This can be quite useful and allows you to find and look for jobs 
much easier. The next thing is remember gadget state, which as I have stated before should be in the main game. What this does is remember the state of your gadgets when switching, so for example if you equip the laser and you have it turned on on your assault rifle, then you switch to your shotgun and switch back, it remains on. There's some more options in here that you should also play around with to get a taste for what you want. Pokohada also features a full and in-depth statistics system that keeps track of all your statistics for every heist. It also includes a statistic message at the end of the game if you enable that, which can be enabled under the chat text sub option. Looking at your statistics can help you improve at the game and show you what you need to work on. In addition, it also features a full skill breakdown that will show you the benefits of using your skills on, for example, the rest of your team as well as yourself, which can be quite a handy feature. Now let's talk about the actual mod UI itself. At the bottom of the screen under your health bar, you can see a couple of things. First off, you'll see your level as well as the standard health bar and ammo. It will show you the current time in your area, as well as your location and keep track of your kills through a kill counting system. Now the best part about this is that you can keep track of your teammates by seeing their location under their name, as well as your own. You can also see what anyone is interacting with. In addition to that, you can also see the distance between you and your teammates. The mod also shows the full health of enemies, so you can see how much more you have to hit them with, as well as how much damage you deal. This can be helpful for higher tire enemies such as bulldozers and shields. In addition, you can also see the percent of your shield that is getting knocked off while running and performing other actions, and this will appear to the sides of your vision in kind of a purple and bluish colors. This is a handy feature for those players who like to use dodge. While there are still some features we haven't covered, I think I've covered pretty much everything that you need to know when getting into this mod. Of course, I assume most of you will play around with it somewhat and find out what settings you like best. The mod has been updated pretty consistently since release, and I expect that to continue in the future. While Poco HUD is a pretty great HUD mod, both Hawks HUD and Goon mod do have features that Poco HUD lack. So if you would like some additional features that are found in those mods, you can install multiple mods at the same time. This seems to work pretty well for the most part, as long as you have a decent computer. However, don't be surprised if you get some slight crashing issues. Alright, that wraps up this overview of Poco HUD, and if you need some help, you can leave a comment down below in the comments section. Of course, there is a download link in the description of the video if you would like to download this mod and try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.